Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to vlog number, vlog number nine. Coffee, tea, wine, and life. And I am so happy to have you join me. It just means the world to me to have you take a few minutes of your day to spend with me. And it just means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So can you believe today is Saturday the 14th? We are halfway through the month of November. This year, in spite of everything that's happened, I mean, it is flying by. You would think um, with everything going on, it would just seem to drag on, but it is just flying by. And that really kind of makes me sad to go through another year so fast. But I have got my coffee, so cheers everyone. I'm gonna have a sip and then put it down. So I hope everyone is doing well, that you're safe, you're happy, you had a great week, and you are ready to have a super weekend. So today, um, yeah, I'm wearing new pajamas again, can you tell? Yeah, I just love this new pajama Saturday thing. I wish I thought of this years ago, but you know, I had the same pajamas that I had for years. I mean, I've got pajamas that I'm, I'm probably going to throw out now because they're like 10 years old, and I wore them when I was 190 pounds, and um, yeah, they're, they're kind of big, but you know, I, last year I really didn't mind just wearing the same old pajamas and now it's like I am just loving new pajamas I love new pajamas more than I love clothes now yeah I wish I could wear them every day and if someone keeps coming to work with COVID and I get to go home for 14 days every time I'm good with that yeah I'm good with that so today we're supposed to have a, a mix of rain and snow it's about 35 degrees so it's really not too bad it just kind of has that dampness in the air so um, yeah, so I'm good to be inside with my coffee. I think I'm going to have to do an order for some creamer and have it delivered, so, but that's okay. I can do that. And so anyway, these pajamas that I got on are from QBC, from Carol Hockman. They are another of the soft velour, just, uh, really, really stretchy, really comfortable. I've got my muck lucks on. I need to probably get leopard muck lucks so that I can match. And, um, it's just got a nice black velour, um, just a basic kind of top on it. The pants have pockets on it. It's a drawstring and they are just wicked, wicked comfortable. So anyway, today on QVC, um, they've got 10% cash back. So I don't know if, if it's just for the day or if it's for the weekend. And of course, everything's on by evil pace. And yes, I accidentally bought a new pair of pajamas. Um, yeah, this one is a muck luck scope. So it's totally different than the ones I've been buying. And I'm okay with that. And um, I almost bought some the Today's special value is Jose Marin or something like that. It's like an argon oil for your face. And then a huge, huge jar of um, some whipped body butter that's got that same properties in it. But then it's like, well, you know, I just started getting boxy and Ipsy a couple of months ago. So I'm getting these different things to try. So I shut it off quick before I hit click, submit, submit my order. But I do have pajamas coming in with a 10% cash back Ebates. Loving my Ebates check. I think this month my check is... Um, this quarter so far it's up to about a hundred dollars so that's not bad I mean you just just regular shopping that you would normally do and if you just click on um, you know so you have Ebates come on automatically it saves you a little bit of money and to let you know when different things are on sale and I got my of course I got my pajamas on but you know I wanted to still look dress up for you guys and so I got my touchstone crystal earrings on and touchstone crystal so I feel like I'm all dressed up in my PJs today and that's one of the best things about these PJs is that they're soft, they're comfortable. Yeah, I just love them. But anyway, um, I just wanted to welcome everyone back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing good. And you can see it's uh, the swelling is going down a little bit from my uh, food crisis yesterday with potato chips. So swelling's down a little bit. And I'm still gargling with um, some warm salt water. And um, I still have taken some aspirin just to kind of help reduce that swelling. And... Um, yeah, I don't have a fever or anything, so that's good. And yeah, so it's not like I can go anywhere to get this fixed for another, well, I don't know, it'll be gone by then. But anyway, I want to thank everyone for stopping in. Um, I hope you have a great weekend, and we will chat again tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Happy Sunday. So anyway, the day is just flying by. I cannot believe that it's about 9 o'clock at night, and I just realized all I have had today is coffee. Yeah. No, I didn't have breakfast, I didn't have lunch, I have no idea why. It's not like that I was busy doing anything. I was on this couch all day. I didn't even cat nap, so that is amazing. Um, I, I did, I'm so excited because I got to watch so many videos today and um, do so much commenting. I have a long way to go because I'm like 
you know me, I'm always behind. No matter what I do, I'm always behind. But anyway, it is such a great feeling to try to catch up with everyone that um, watches my videos so I can watch their videos and let them know I'm thinking of them by commenting on them. And uh, to me, that is just the best part of YouTube is the uh, friends that I've made um, and my little YouTube family. So I want to thank you all. Um, you just mean the world to me. And I just feel so blessed to have you in my life. So I probably have about my 10th cup of coffee today, and it's a double cup, but you know, I'm good with that. I love my coffee. But like I said, it's about 9 o'clock at night, and um, yeah, so I did something bad. I just ordered a Domino's pizza, and they do have that contactless delivery, so I don't have to open the door and expose anybody, so I'm excited to be doing that. So I don't think I'm going to live on pizza for 14 days, so, so I will have to figure something out. But yeah. So anyway, it is what it is, right? So um, yeah, my boss's wife called me uh, this morning. She just wanted to double check, see if I had any symptoms and how I was feeling. Do I need anything? So just, um, you know, they're just so nice to me. They just, you know, they treat everybody there like family. And to me, that is just, that's the best part of working there is just to be part of the group and be included as part of their family. So. I really do love that. But um, of course I had to say, no, I don't have any symptoms. And then I'm thinking, well, ooh, no, I've been taking aspirin for like two days now. And you can see the swelling is really going down. So it's still um, still a little, little puffy right here. It's really hard right here still from um, that uh, food incident that I had with the uh, chip going down in between my teeth and cutting my gums. So I think it probably hit a nerve when it went down. And that's what kind of zing just kind of made it blow blow out like that but anyway so I'm still gargling uh, with some warm salt water a couple of times during the day and taking aspirin to try to keep that swelling down and this side it's it hangs different from this side because I still have muscle tone on this side of my face and this is the side that I've had all that surgery on and so um, yeah I have no muscle tone on this side of the face so it usually does hang uh, differently than the other side so but um, yeah but it's gonna be nice to have that swelling swelling go away it does feel nice with my cold hand up against it though. That's kind of like a cold compress. Uh, so anyway, and then, yeah, so today I did a lot of YouTube watching and commenting. And then I um, accidentally, I hit play and I had um, Phantom of the Opera in the 4K player. So yeah, I yeah, watched Phantom of the Opera again and then Jesus Christ Superstar accidentally popped in too. Hello. Uh, yeah, and I just love listening to that with the sound bar on. I think tonight I might put Bohemian Rhapsody on. I love that with the sound bar too. And um, yeah, so just a lot of fun um, playing with the sound up full blast. And uh, yeah, and then I want to get back to uh, commenting after I have uh, a little dinner break. But behind me I've got, um, that's me and the Jelly Beans and Maddie, Matt, and Jeff. So every now and then I just like to put on the big screen, I just uh, put my pictures up there and I just kind of, kind of watch them larger than life. So that was like the first uh, Christmas that I went went home to after Rick and um, yeah so on the way home to uh, the airport we stopped at Cello's because they have like the best clam cakes and chowder so I wanted to have that before I went home and so we just posed for a picture so we got uh, Tori Pie and Aiden the jelly beans, Maddie Matt's behind me and Jeff when he had his hair dyed teal sitting next to me so it's just really really a fun memory. I really love that picture. So then also I want to show you uh, tomorrow Scentsy has a limited warmer go on sale. So isn't that gorgeous? So um, you know if you remember two years ago I got the, the Christmas tree one with the train that goes around the look of the music box and then last year was that beautiful snow globe, the big snow globe. So this year it's this fireplace. So anyway you know I have to get it. I just have to get it. And it is a limited edition and it usually sells out very quickly. So I'm going to have to remind our friend to uh, send me some reminders tomorrow morning to uh, check to see when that's available so I can. And and usually too, when they have like a, a big launch like that, sometimes there's a queue that you got to wait to get onto the website. So so if you try and you can't get on right away, just uh, keep trying if you really want it because like I said, it does sell out fast. So I am going to be trying that. So anyway, I just wanted to pop in for a few minutes before my pizza comes and I'm so excited to get pizza. Yeah, it's, it just feels like a special treat. Yeah, and it's not like a lean cuisine pizza or one on a tortilla. Yeah, it's a real pizza. Yeah, let's get my name on it. So anyway, thanks everyone for joining me and uh, take care and we will chat again tomorrow. Bye-bye everyone. 
Hi everyone, happy Monday. I hope everybody's work day flew by. You didn't have any issues. Everything's hunky-dory. Everybody's happy. Weather's perfect. Nobody's sick. Isn't that the perfect world? So anyway, cheers everyone. I'm going to have a sip of my pretend coffee. I'm going to be lost. My carrot died this morning. I'm like, oh, so sad. I'll have a new one in on Thursday, but I don't know if I can wait. It was like I was going to go to Kohl's and get one online and do the curbside pickup, but I can't, I'm, I'm self-quarantining. Quarantine, I can't go out and expose anybody, so <sighs> so quickest I could get one is Thursday. So sad. In the meantime, I got this instant coffee that I'm going to have to try to make do. You know, the sacrifices we all have to make. Pretend coffee, right? But anyway, it's Monday. Uh, one day down, I'm getting ready to go and do my mask Monday, and hopefully I'm not going to burn my face. I'm not going to use that tomato serum this week, and kind of just use a regular sheet mask this time, just um, something really, really moisturizing. So I'm excited to do that, and I got this picture behind me. Actually, I took that a couple of years ago, and and that's, believe it or not, that's just with my Android phone. Uh, but anyway, we were, were outside shoveling. Um, and it was like just the it was still snowing, but it was almost over, and we had got a lot of snow. So I was out shoveling, uh, so I wouldn't have to go out and do so much in the morning. It was probably about one o'clock in the morning, and my neighbor on the other side of the the trees, he was out doing his driveway because his wife, um, the school teacher, and she's got to get up and go to school, and then Carrie, um, the other side of me, she's a um, an X-ray technologist or something, so she was uh, getting ready to go into her shift at the hospital. So we were kind of all out there shoveling, and when, when we finished, we just kind of all kind of stood together in my driveway because I'm in the middle, and uh, just kind of we were just reflecting on how beautiful it was. Like as much as a pain in the neck the snow can be, sometimes you just have to stop and admire how beautiful it is and that night was just gorgeous I mean it was it wasn't that that cold out so it was probably just up beneath the freezing um, at that point it was just a, a light snow and it was just kind of like this crisp fresh air and it was just it was just so peaceful and so beautiful and um, we just kind of the three of us kind of stood there and just were admiring the beauty of the night and a car started coming down the street and and, I, and it just was making a really nice glow. And I said, I could get my phone. I could have tried to get a picture of this. And I am, I'm really surprised that it came out as good as it did on my camera phone, uh, phone camera, whatever that is. But anyway, so that was a few years ago. Um, so I'm on day five of self-quarantining. And I could be doing much better if my coffee maker didn't die. But but I, I'm, I'm going to try to regress or digress. I'll get through it. It's just a coffee maker. You can do this. But um, anyway, I forgot. I got an Ipsy bag in. My Ipsy Glam bag plus came in on Friday. And uh, I put it off to the side because I was working, um, you know, at the office over there. And I said, oh, I'm going to do this over the weekend. And anyway, I shoved it by my uh, paperwork and my files. I forgot all about it. And then I was watching uh, Rebecca and Wanda on Southern Bells um, on their Sunday series of what's coming up for the weekend. She had opened up her Glam Bag Plus and I'm like, oh yeah, I got that. I have to go find, what would I do with it? So anyway, I got that. So I'm going to try to do that tonight. I got the math series to do tonight. And then while I was home, the uh, mailman came and dropped this off. And of course, if anyone um, is familiar with Erin Condren, so it's, you know, when it, from Erin Condren, I'm like, I didn't order anything, did I? Well, actually I did because their seasonal box came out today. So I, I did get that ordered. And I got the Sensi Warmer ordered today. So I'm excited about that. So anyway, it comes with a, uh, came with a, like a little fly, which is really kind of kind of cute. It just uh, you know, tells you a little bit about the company and what's going on. And this part in the middle, I really like. It's different things. I don't know. It's, it's going to be on our website and in the stores and most of it's going to be coming out in November so like Christmas stocking stuffers things like that and then uh, it's a little package here pink tissue paper and then uh, you're not going to be able to read it but it says it's a little thank you card so it says um, thank you as this incredibly challenging year comes to an end oh my gosh is it challenging I don't have a Karen coffee maker and uh, we just wanted to express how grateful we are that you're a member of our Erin Condren 
Condren inside her family. Your rose gold status is a true reflection of just how dedicated and supportive you've been. We appreciate you and the planner community more than words can ever express. As we look to the new year, we look forward to discovering new opportunities together for achieving our goals and living more joyful, meaningful lives through organization. So just a, you know, a really quick thank you. And, and then the tissue paper, and I'm like, I still like, what, what do we get, what do we get? So we get this little thing inside plastic. thing. It's got the little Erin Condren logo. And I'm thinking, oh, it's like post-it paper or something like that. Little stickers, but open it up. And it's a little bracelet. There's some, uh, got the Erin Condren logo. And just some shiny crystals with rose gold and pink little beads. So I know I just thought that was just a, you know, a really pretty, thoughtful, little gift you know so anyway yeah, so anyway I've gone over what I really wanted to do today so maybe I won't do um, unless something ooh comes up and it's really exciting uh, tomorrow Wednesday I'll probably try to skip a few days because this is over six minutes but anyway I want to thank everyone for joining me again um, yeah we'll chat again if not tomorrow the next day or the next day okay talk to you soon bye bye Hi everyone, happy Friday. See, I got a coffee cup. I got my coffee maker in yesterday. I'm a happy girl. I have coffee again. Oh, I went most of the week without coffee and I'll tell you it was hard. So anyway, can I have a sip? I've got my peppermint and bark coffee and it's so, so good. But anyway, it's Friday and it has been a long week. Partly long because of uh, no coffee partly long because I had to do that COVID virtual test um, in the online waiting room and so for three days in a row I was um, in the waiting room not being able to do any work for three hours before I gave up waiting. So I've been working 10.30 and 11.30 at night all week and I tell you, I'm pooped. So I didn't do um, vlogs for a couple of days because I was just, it was just, it was just too much after working till 10.30, 11.30 at night. But anyway, taking a quick break, and then I'm going to go back to work um, for a couple more hours. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and make sure I got Friday in so that I could kind of close out the week and then try to put this together. And oh my gosh, ugh, I'm, I'm, I'm pooped. Yeah. Um, Saturday, I just may sleep all day, so we will have to see how that goes. But anyway, I got this picture behind me of uh, Baby Eve and Big Girl. And yeah, just a great picture. And I don't know, they, I mean, you just, people look at it and say, are they facing off, or are they showing dominance, or whatever, and, no, that's just how they were, I mean, Big Earl, well, he was only 209 pounds, so he wasn't as big as Mr. Wiggles, and Baby Eve, she was only 175 pounds, so she was tiny, but, uh, like all the other female do dogs that we've had, she's the dominant one, she's the one who bosses him around, and she would play as rough as she wanted with Big Earl, knocking him over, running across the yard, knocking him over. And of course he would just kind of roll over and if he ever tried to get a little bit tough with her to put her in her place, then she would just kind of, oh, I'm just a little girl and Big Earl hurt me, blah, blah, blah. You know, and just really broken hearted. And then he would just go over and lay down next to her and kiss her ears and yeah, she had him wrapped around her paws. But anyway, love that picture of them. And I think that kind of shows their size a little bit. But, um, yeah, I love looking at old pictures that you, you know, and just uh, putting it on the TV screens. Just a, it's a, it's a fun outlet for me. But, anyway, so I, I missed a couple of vlogs this week because I was just, yeah, I was tired. But I want to make sure I got on today. And, um, yeah, so I hope everyone had a great week. And, um, you know, I might have been, you know, a little inconvenience with slow internet and, well, you know, being self-quarantined and not having a coffee pot. But, you know. I'm still a lot blessed and uh, you know and I consider uh, my YouTube family part of my blessings and you know I know other people um, have had it rough with the work closures and as the states are closing down again and uh, closing restaurants and the bars and really limiting the amount of people to be in stores at a time 
and I think they even want to start doing something like that with some of the workplaces too, like having 33% capacity. So I don't know how that's going to work with the companies that don't have as much space as we have at, at our place. But and again, that's you know just one of my blessings is I, I have not missed any any work. Even I've been inconvenienced with you know being exposed and being self-quarantined, but I'm still able to work every day. I've never missed a paycheck and. I just really consider myself lucky, so uh, I hope other people, you know, can get through this. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's hard for some people, and uh, my heart really goes out to them. But getting back to happier thoughts, um, and I got some happy mail this week, so I'm really really excited about that. And one of them was from Mary Catherine from Mary Catherine Loves Cats. She um, she's a new YouTuber with a, a new content creator, so she's got. She's, well, she's like a pro now. She's been, she's doing excellent. She does beauty boxes and, and things like that. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, she happened to win the Scentsy Flower for my giveaway. And so she sent me a little giveaway, which, you know, is really unnecessary. But, you know, I'll take it because I love that female. So, anyway, so I got this, uh, with a thankful heart. And she wrote inside, and I don't think she would mind if I read it. So it just says, Dearest Nancy, you were so generous. I'm delighted to have met you. Thank you for the Scentsy Flower. I cherish it. Love Mary. Mary Catherine loves the cats. So just really sweet. I hope you check her out. She is a real sweetheart. She is from Illinois, but um, she's living now in Alabama. And I know her heart is breaking like mine is too, just being away from family and not being able to travel to go see them. So hopefully we can show her some love and um, cheer her up. And anyway, she sent me, this is the best part of the happy mail. Uh, she sent me some eye masks, which is pretty cool because I just did my first eye mask on Monday from my face. Yeah, Monday from my Monday face mask series. So I just did some eye masks, and so she sent me two. So this one is the Grace and Stella. It's these gold patches, and then this one is a green tea eye gel patch from G J June. And this just says soothing up in the corner. So looking forward to adding these to my Monday face mask series. So thank you so much, Mary Catherine. And I will leave her link below. So I hope that you get a chance to go check her out and show her some love. And then my other happy mail this week is I went to the mailbox and I opened it and oh my gosh, it smelled like Christmas in my mailbox. Yeah. So anyway, um, you may remember in um, October around Thanksgiving, around blah Halloween I um, got some soaps from a new company for me on a small Etsy shop called Boodles Doodles Designs and um, anyway I got some trick-or-treat soaps that I sent to the gra our grandchildren and I got some autumn leaves ones that I sent to our girls and then I kept some for myself and the dirty birdie and just uh, so anyway I'm li loving her soaps but of course you know they last a long time so yeah but um, it's one of the downfalls but anyway, so anyway, she happened to see my video, and so she sent me an email saying that, you know, she was thankful for the video, and uh, so she said she would send me a little something, and it was kind of like that was, you know, you really don't have to do anything. I, I love sharing products that I get, and even though someone uh, once told me that I, I can't do Sensi videos because I, I'm not a Sensi consultant, but I feel like, you know, when you get something that you love, and that's what girlfriends do, you share what you love with with people and you know and even if they don't share that love with you but you watch things that they love and share with you and, and you know that's what we do as, as girlfriends and and boyfriends on, on YouTube so that is just it's just so sweet so anyway she said she was going to send me a little something and uh, Brenda this is not a little something this is a huge something so anyway this box weighs about 10 pounds it's huge and it smells amazing, even through the plastic. So anyway, I'm going to have to do a separate unboxing on this and do the best as I can to describe what's in here. But it's like a box of Christmas. Look, it is just jam-packed full. It's like, oh, it's, it's, it just smells like Christmas. So anyway, I'm excited to share this. So thank you so much, Brenda. This is so unnecessary for you to do this but anyway I will uh, link her Etsy shop below it's Boodles Doodles Designs she used to do like uh, some weekly planner kits and things like that on her her um, her store but now she does all handmade soaps and oh my gosh they are so so pretty you are gonna have a tough time deciding which one to get 
that's how fun this side is. So anyway, that's Boodles Doodles Designs, and I will do a separate little video um, on unboxing that. But I got my whiff box in, and so um, yeah, I want to get that up uh, this weekend too, because um, that's only good for November, that whiff box that I'll be opening up. And then of course, December 1st starts a new whiff box with all new items. Um, that limited warmer with a fireplace. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see that. And anyway, that ships, so I think I'll have that Monday. And I've got a Wannable coming. Well, it's, I think that I haven't seen the email, but I did see an email that they were uh, pulling things for me. So excited to get that. That will be my, really my first style edit because I got the clearance, I got the regular one, I got a clearance one, and then I got an active edit clearance. So this will just be a regular Wannable style edit. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I pushed out my stitch fix till December. Because I, I, you know, I just don't want to really overextend myself. I know the heating bills are coming and the pajamas are just adding up. And yeah, so I, I got to kind of pace things out a little bit. So I'm going to be doing that. Oh, but I'm so excited I've got a coffee maker again. Yeah, didn't expect to have to do that, but I'm good with that. I love my coffee and it's, it's a necessity. Um, I did get some new pajamas. So yeah, so for my set, starting my Saturday, I'll be wearing new pajamas. I, got, I, I actually got kind of like a comical pair, which is uh, to help Trisha from A Quilty Mom and Molly because we both share this addiction for uh, needing new PJs. Yeah, so this might help that. So anyway, I'll have to check that out and check it out tomorrow. But anyway, I hope everyone goes out, has a fantastic week, uh, weekend. Hope you had a great week and have a great weekend. Um, yeah, just thanks for joining me, everybody. I appreciate you more than you know. I hope everyone gives this video a clap and a thumbs up. And your comments, of course, are always welcome. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And uh, yeah, so we'll chat again tomorrow. I hope everyone has a great night. Bye, everyone. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. So anyway, I've got my coffee cup because, you know, I've got my coffee maker again. I came in yesterday. I'm so excited to, I was coffeeless for a couple of days in a row and that was hard. I'll tell you, that was hard. You know, and what's really weird is, um, you know, during the work day, um, I make my, my protein uh, drink every morning and then I put in a pack of uh, some keto coffee. Well, uh, actually, it's like a third of the pack of the keto coffee and what am I doing? Wishing my nose. Oh my god, that is so rude.